Minamata's is a story of environmental mercury, uh, methyl mercury in fish. Uh, the, basically, there was a company that was dumping mercury into the bay, Minamata Bay, and so the fish became progressively more and more methyl mercury poisoned. And as that happened, the people started eating the fish, and uh, actually first the animals who were getting fish, uh, cats, dogs, that kind of thing, began eating it, and they went crazy. They started throwing themselves off cliffs. The, the babies to the animals died. And then the people slowly started to become poisoned. What they found is that the individuals that were least affected by eating the, the mercury-tainted fish were the mothers who were pregnant at the time. And the individuals that were affected the most dramatically were the children in utero when the mother ate the fish. So in effect, the fetus, the child that the mother was carrying, protected her from mercury toxicity by absorbing the mercury from uh, the mother. We also make organic materials because they're great fungicides. They kill fungus, yeast, bacteria, and they were used to coat seeds in the uh, 1950s, 60s, and 70s. And uh, it was a shipment of seed corn or seed uh, grain to Iraq because they had a, they had a, a drought and uh, they had no crops. But it was sent there to be planted, not eaten. And people broke into the uh, granaries, uh, stole the seed corn, uh, made bread out of it, ate it. and. Uh, they caused this cause what's called the Iraqi disaster. A lot of the children died. A lot of them were neurologically damaged. Many of the older people died. If you look at you know the Minamata Bay experience or the Iraq experience, where children were severely mercury poisoned and had mental retardation and had seizure disorders, I mean those children didn't have an increased risk of autism. Both Minamata's and Iraqi grain disease were acute poisonings, meaning very large exposures to mercury in a short amount of time. But what the medical community has done is that they're comparing acute toxicity to chronic toxicity. Here lies one of the fundamental problems of this entire issue. The medical community does not recognize chronic mercury poisoning. You give the child a shot on the day of birth. Two months later, you give him another uh, bolus dose. Four months, you give him another bolus dose. Six months, you give him another. 